this was a very significant rally, the mega mass rally uh, that was called by Tipra Mota and with the initiative of its founder, Pradut Dev Burman. This was at Kumulung, which is uh, the heartland of the Tiprasa people as far as Tripura is concerned. Uh, and uh, they had invited the NPP leader and uh, Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma as the chief guest. Now, if we have listened to the speeches by these two top leaders, that is uh, Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma and Pradut Dev Burman, the founder of Tiprasa, it is very clear that today has been a very, very significant day in the socio-political arena of the Northeastern region. As we all know, the Northeast, 45 million people in the whole of the Northeastern states and the majority of them are indigenous people. Now, uh, we, have all, we have heard in the Northeast uh, several organizations to talk about tribal solidarity, tribal unity, but this is little broad based. Uh, well, we are also aware that the Tipra Mota is leading the cause of the Tipra Sa people and is fighting uh, for a greater Tipra land. And that has been the main demand of the uh, Tipra Mota. There are other political parties, others political and social organizations elsewhere in the northeastern region uh, who are fighting for the cause of the uh, tribal people. But uh, this time round, the this mega rally that was organized by the Tipra uh, Motha uh, today, where Conrad Sangba also attended, this can be seen as a, the first step towards the evolution or formation of a platform that is going to give voice to the indigenous people of the northeastern region. Now, uh, indigenous people is a broader terminology than tribes people, actually. When we call indigenous people in the northeastern region, apart from all the ethnic groups, who are of course the sons of the soil there are other groups for example if you take into account a, the the case of assam where the assamese muslims who, uh, have also been recognized as indigenous people officially by the government of assam through a notification not not long ago under the present government headed by dr himanta biswa sharma similarly if you look into the barak valley there are the bishnupriya manipuris there are the kachari muslims who owe their uh, history who are uh, as old as the kachari kingdom that is dates back to four to five hundred year old history and if we look at uh, uh, the the uh, other places in the northeastern region we have communities for example the the uh, the Mete pangals as far as manipur is concerned they are very much indigenous people uh, so so today this meeting which we just saw attended by a huge audience uh, in komolong that is the heartland of the tiprasa people in tripura uh, this this can be called def definitely we can say that this is the beginning of a new movement uh, where a force are uniting slowly uh, to talk or to lend voice to the demands, to the aspirations, to the hopes of the indigenous people of, trip, of, of the northeastern region. As we heard uh, Conrad Sangma, the NPP leader and uh, chief minister of Meghalaya, uh, while addressing that large gathering, he said that uh, we are not here to, to fight any political party we are not here against com any community but we're here to talk about the rights and about the hopes and aspirations of the indigenous people and he said he said that if the indigenous people do not take up their own cause there'll be nobody who will come forward to take up their cause so he so that is what he has sent out a clear message and as far as Pradut Debarman is concerned he said that uh, indigenous people uh, means indigenous people in the northeastern region that will be that will be could be Khasis, could be Tiprasas, uh, could be Bodos, could be Metes and so on and so forth, uh, uh, Nagas of course. Uh, now, now, as far as uh, this is concerned, this is certainly a very big development as far as the region's uh, socio-political firmament is concerned. Now, was we, if we remember, Conrad Sangma had earlier given land to the indigenous Karbi people for construction of Karbi Bhavan. So, can this also be seen as a step forward uniting the region's indigenous people? Well, yes, uh, Puja, we have seen recently uh, the Meghalaya government uh, had already given land to the uh, Karbi tribes people. They have constructed uh, a huge Karbi setup as far as in, in, in Meghalaya Silong area uh, that was inaugurated jointly by the Meghalaya chief minister and the chief minister of Assam in presence of the chief executive member of the Karbi Anglong Autonomous District Council. And today also we have seen that the Tripura Tribal Areas Autonomous District Council, they have passed a resolution, they have issued an order uh, 
uh, offering. They have allocated two acres of land uh, within the Tripura Tribal Area Development uh, Council complex uh, to the Karbi people in Assam to construct a Karbi woven uh, in, in Tripura. So these are small steps, but these are certainly steps uh, aimed at uniting uh, the tribals together, uniting the indigenous people together. So this is this could well be the beginning of a whole new narrative in the northeastern region, the rights of the indigenous people, taking the movement, taking the aspirations beyond uh, that of tribal unity. There is already some kind of tribal unity because if we look at uh, the, the, the student outfits in the northeastern region, we have the Northeastern Students Organization or NESO, where representative student bodies of all the states representing all the tribal groups in the northeastern region are members of NESO. So there is already an apex platform. So, but there are tribal platforms representing the interest of the tribals. There is some kind of a loose unity among the tribals in the northeastern region. But if we look, if we want to broad based it, bringing in communities like the Assamese Muslims, bringing in communities like the Bishnu Priya Manipuris, bringing in communities like the Kachari Muslims and so on and so forth, I think this is this can well be said as the first step towards uh, uh, a broader platform that could fight, that could speak, that could lend a voice for the overall rights of the indigenous people from Northeast India.